happy. We're here with our first ever guest. How cool is that? <laughs> just found out I was the first ever. I'm so excited. <laughs> she did. We just told her as soon as she logged on. Oh, by the way, no pressure, but you're our first guest. <laughs> also, that means we are uh, us using you as a guinea pig. So let's start with like an elevator pitch, just real briefly to two sentences ish. Who are you and what do you do? <laughs> Becky Aste, I'm a trauma-informed marriage coach who teaches women to restore thriving intimacy by moving trauma out of the body. Awesome. And you're the host so of good. Your Breakthrough Blueprint, which is a new podcast that PodFox is producing. So that's how we know each other and we love each other. And the podcast is so good, you guys. You have to go check it out anywhere you listen to podcasts. All right, let's dig in. Amanda, go first. All right, we're going to start with a hard one. What were you like as a kid? My mom actually kept journals about me. I was an only child and she was in the newspaper for having journaled every day of my life from birth to high school. Like, <laughs> who does that? I know, right? My mom, she's awesome. But I read some of those journals and it's actually almost kind of annoying. Like I was a really good, <laughs> easy, like just played with my toys and dolls and was very chill. And I have a daughter who's the opposite. So apparently that's how I was growing up. That's hilarious. <laughs> Incredible, by the way. Every day of your life. Yeah, until high school. No pressure. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> Did you know she was doing it while she was doing it? No. And it, it's like scrapbooks, <laughs> practically. They're journals, but she's got, like, pictures. She saved every birthday invitation that I got Wait, invited when did to. you find out that she um, was doing this? <laughs> I want to say it was in high school, and I have them now. They're in that's, my closet right around the that's corner. That's actually... That's really special in a lot yes. of ways. Um, what a good first question. God. I'm going to go with what time did you wake up this morning? Oh, God. 7.30, naturally, which is weird for me. I normally can sleep in till like 8.30 if I don't set my alarm, but naturally woke up because I was so excited for today and <laughs> this opportunity to chat with you ladies. <laughs> I love it. So how many hours do you work in a week? There's no judgment week, here. <laughs> yeah, about 20 right now. 20, 25. It's, it feels like a good pace right now. That's good. great. I feel like I worked 20 hours yesterday. Yesterday, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> jealous well let me preface that I like I was like strung out on hustle for the last 10 years of my life so it's actually like very new for me and almost forming like a new identity to like learn how to slow down and it's it's pretty hard but it's necessary for my mental health <laughs> totally what advice would you give yourself five years ago oh god I'm 33 so that would make me what 28 not good at math um that was when things were roughest, actually, in my mm -hmm. marriage. It was like a really dark time. And I I would tell myself that, like, this is your cocoon phase and it's necessary. Like, you are going to break through. You are going to fly. Um, things Aww. are going to get better. Like, just trust that this is part of you deepening your roots and this is going to make sense and benefit others one day. Great answer. Great answer. So I'm going to follow it up with a really good one. What's your go-to Starbucks order? <gasps> and uh, it's a almond milk latte is my go-to. And I've been trying to wean off caffeine because I'm an anxious person. So <laughs> now I would call it decaf. <laughs> when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? A wedding photographer and a soccer player. <laughs> At the same time. Same time. What a combo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. What is your best tip for marriage or relationships? Oh, that's a good one. Just one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best tip is learn how to feel so at home in your own skin and your own soul. I would mm -hmm. say that's really good if you need help with that make sure you follow <laughs> Becky <laughs> like, what are what are three things you're really good at writing I'm good with my words um I am a good listener and I'm good at hosting 
I like hosting. Mm, that's good. Where is your, I feel like I say that after every answer. Mm, that's a good one. That <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's, a good. Good, that's a good one. <laughs> um, where do you consider home to be? First thing that came to mind was Connecticut. Uh, I grew up in Connecticut, moved away when I was 18, but my mom still lives in the house that I grew up in, the house that my dad built. So when I go home, it's really, it's always centering. Yeah. Yeah. How many text messages do you send in a day? <gasps> also, no, no judgment here. <laughs> oh, many. Oh, God. I'm such a texter. I hate phone calls. I'm such a texter. So maybe anywhere from 30 to 50. Oh, that's not even a lot. <laughs> well, that's it's like bad. it leaves in the DMs. That's where I mostly message people. But yeah, on my phone, 30 to 50. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. <laughs> Give yourself <laughs> more credit. <laughs> Um, what is your go-to fast food or fast casual restaurant? Chick-fil-A, 100%. Get those Delish. tenders. Get so those good. tenders. <laughs> what is one habit, activity, or trick that helps you self-regulate? The five senses. So this is what I did when my marriage was on fire and I first started learning how to calm down my nervous system. On repeat, when I got triggered, I'd name five things I see four things I could hear, three things I could physically touch, two things I could uh, smell, and one thing I could taste. And it helped me get back into like a calm nervous system. Mm. That's a good one. That's good. That is a good one. Good job. Again, good job. You just You're doing great, great at this. You're great at answering questions about yourself. <laughs> Only child syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite holiday? Christmas, hands down. I what is your ideal birthday present? Oh, God, an experience. Like, surprise me with a day at the spa and, like, a trip to a winery and overnight at a nice, like, just surprise me with an experience. That's my ideal. And babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> that leads me to my next question, which is who lives in your household? Got six-year-old Ollie. Oliver is my firstborn. And Anna, who's three. Ollie's the sweet, sensitive, loyal one. Anna is the Gemini, crazy, adventurous, <laughs> hilarious, <gasps> bonkers child. And then we've got my husband, Sebastian, and our kitten, Teeny. She's a black cat. Teeny. And she's really teeny. Oh, that's cute. What is one of your most unpopular opinions? Ooh, this is maybe going to ruffle some feathers. That's the goal. <laughs> that is the goal. <laughs> I'm like, ah! is that traditional talk therapy doesn't save marriages? Mm -hmm. And I can Good. explain why. I feel like I need a caveat. but <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> caveat. That's all right. Okay. I'm going to geek out. I'm going to sound like a nerd for a second. But, Welcome you know, her. <laughs> Most women, myself included, spend years in therapy trying to save their marriage and frustrated to find them still spinning their wheels. And when you learn, you know, our body's got a big nerve going down from the base of your skull to the bottom of your spine called the vagus nerve. It's like the super highway of neurotransmitters information. So those neurotransmitters, those messages, 20% go from your brain to your body and 80% go from your body to your brain. So if you're trying to shift, if you're trying to heal, you know, just doing talk therapy is only tapping into that 20%. But when you learn the body work and learn how to regulate your nervous system, mm -hmm. move trauma out of the body, it's able to, yeah, you're working with the 80%. And so that's what I would say. Not because There's a place for therapy and it can be effective, but you're not going to make as much progress as healing your body of trauma. That's amazing. Geek out with us more. That was super. Okay. That was really interesting. Um, when something amazing happens, who is your first phone call? My husband or my best friend, Courtney. Yeah. What's your favorite social media platform? Instagram. Love Instagram. If you could donate $100,000 to any charity or charitable organization, where would you donate it? That's such a good question. Oh, my God. 
like I picture creating my own one day of just creating mental health awareness um, to this body work. And Becky so, really just said I would donate a hundred thousand dollars to my own to <laughs> my organization. <laughs> So I'm like, I don't know if there's one out there that <laughs> spreads public awareness to somatic therapy. If there is, sure, that one. If not, I hope to create one with y'all's help of making this podcast go global. I love it. I love that. I love that for you. <laughs> I love that for you and I'm judging you silently. <laughs> Less than silent. What is one of your proudest moments in business? I think starting this podcast, this was like a long time on my heart dream and procrastinated it out of fear and then getting to pull the trigger and now have a blast doing it. I'm really proud of that. It worked out because then we got to work together and we're so yeah. glad to know you. I know. I'm so grateful for you guys. Seriously. Describe yourself in only three words. This one was really hard for me. Me too. Mm -hmm. Harder than I thought it was going to be. Kind of a hyphenated word. I'd say safe space, vulnerable, and empathetic. Mm, I love that. What did you eat for breakfast? Today I had an egg with bacon and avocado. <laughs> Who is your hero? <sighs> my hero. I'd say my dad. Aww. I was a daddy's girl growing up. He passed away too soon. He he was 57. I was 18. But yeah, got to go with daddy on that one. Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to stick with the food theme I have going. What are your dinner plans tonight? <laughs> pad Thai, because every time I sign a new client, we celebrate by getting Pad Thai. And I signed a new client today. Great. <laughs> I love that. That's good. That's awesome. What's your favorite book of all time? The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry by John Mark Comer. Really good for like people like me who get strung out on hustle. <laughs> and me and Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Why we vibe, guys. <laughs> what is one hope you have for the future? It could be business, life, your community, or the world. Well, that foundation, Sarah. <laughs> Um, no, a goal that I have for the future is the biggest thing that's just been on my heart is I can't wait to really travel the world. I haven't done much traveling and there's so much I want to experience. And so getting into the habit once the kids were a little older, like that becoming a norm for me. I think that is an awesome one to end on. I was thinking Becky, that. Thank you so much for coming on and being our very first guest ever for Big Brave Business. We're so happy to have you. Tell the good people where they can find you. On Instagram, Rebecca Lee Oste. That's where I hang out and I get in my DMs like a real person. So feel free to say hi. And the podcast. And the podcast. Oops. And that. So my <laughs> new one month old baby podcast that has seven episodes, Your Breakthrough Blueprint, found on all major platforms. Yeah, thank you for coming. 